Hey guys, here's a big Lebrowski coming in again with another video and today I wanted to talk about this absolute clown that you probably heard about already but I wanted to cover this story because I think it's a really stupid and goofy situation. So the guy in question is the so-called Florida Joker who is ridiculously trying to get some money from Rockstar because as shown in the trailer from GTA 6 there's a parody character that apparently is based on that dude. The only way we're gonna get through this now, it is true that probably the developers of GTA took inspiration on this guy to create the character, but anyway, just like all of the other people that appear as a reference to Florida in the trailer, highlighting the Florida man memes and stuff, however, this dude is the only one, at least that I saw, that is trying to get money out of this. Normally, you would think that they would try to get their 15 minutes of fame, but bro here went the extra mile and he's asking Rockstar for $2 million. It's your boy, Joker Gang, Joker Gang 305, Ross Chico Live, for everybody saying that I'm hallucinating, that I'm not the Joker from GTA 6. Chill out your goddamn nuggets. That's me. That's the person that got the inspiration from. You see that? That? That's me. That's me. That's me. GTA, we, we got to talk, GTA. We got to talk. Or not, you got to give me like a meal or two. So what's up? Holla at me, GTA, Rockstar Entertainment, Rockstar Games, Rockstar Enterprise. Florida Joke ain't having that. Y'all took my likeness. Y'all took my life. Look. So like I said, the guy has the nerve to ask Rockstar for 2 million for this and I just find this so damn hilarious. And apparently I'm not the only one that finds it this way because recently Roger Clark, who is the voice actor that played Arthur Morgan in Red Dead 2, addressed the situation and he made this video response. GTA. No, you don't. You don't need to talk to them. They're not going to talk to you. They've had people like you trying to sue them for decades. They are lawyered up, man. They know exactly what they can and cannot get away with. If I were you, I would use the notoriety that they just threw your way to my advantage. Capitalize it on it somehow. I ain't getting a job in Home Depot with that face. And to be honest, I couldn't agree more with Arthur here. I mean, not like this dude seems to want to get a job anyways. The funniest thing is that now he dyed his hair purple to look more similar to the GTA character. And now he's asking for more money and even gave Rockstar a deadline. It's your boy, Trumpet 305, Ross Chico Live. You know what's going on, making worldwide news Killing the news for the last couple days. GTA, I'm giving you the biggest free marketing you got in entire history of running this GTA game. For, for that, I want an extra million dollars. Y'all taking forever to respond back to me. You see that? Find the other character. Find the other person in Florida they betrayed that character from. I'll wait. I will wait. GTA, we got the top. You think I'm playing? You got three days, three days before my lawyers go crazy on this case. This is it. This is not like the Lizzie Lohan case. This is not like the Lizzie Lohan case. I got hard evidence. Hard evidence. Dude, the only thing that's hard here is his thick skull, thinking that he's going to get some of that GTA money. Now, you may be wondering how did this clown end up gaining so much notoriety so that he made it into a GTA game. Well, let me quickly summarize his anime origin story arc. So this guy's name is Lawrence Sullivan and on 2017, he got arrested by the Florida police for pointing a gun at passing cars. He was allegedly also arrested like four years prior to this for possession of marijuana, so he already had a criminal record prior to all of this situation. Well, according to his mother, he is mentally challenge or something like that and surprisingly according to his family specifically his sister i think and again this is allegedly he's actually a good person who used to help the homeless and his mother that was sick and also his mother said that actually he's a good kid and that people only judge him because of his face tattoos and that that is just an artistic way of expressing himself so here's a fragment from the day that he was charged back then in 2017 the next one is uh this is lawrence sullivan pardon me oh this is mr sullivan all right, good morning, Mr. Sullivan. You're charged with one count of ca carrying a uh, concealed firearm. I've appointed the public defender's office to represent you. I'm going to be taking a look at your arrest affidavit to see if there's probable cause and address your bond status, sir. Your Honor, I'm being told that Mr. Sullivan is declining the services of the public Is defense. declining services. Is that correct, sir? She's talking to me. She's asking. Uh, you don't want the public defender's office to represent you? I mean, 
mean, it represents me, but I'm trying to get bonded out, my honor. Well, they're there to help you, sir. You don't have a lawyer. All right. I mean, okay, so... Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't feel like, I didn't even feel like signing the paperwork. I'm really not in the mood for that. Okay, well, well you're, you're, you're in custody, okay? You're charged with... You're going in and out. I can't hear you, but on a firearms charge, I'm not going to do pretrial. Setting standard bond, $5,000. Next case is Roberto Rodriguez. And apparently he also got locked up again in 2018 due to another incident related to a firearm offense. So basically that's all you need to know about the Florida Joker. If you're interested in such useless information, that is. I think this dude actually should be honored that he's putting a damn GTA game and it's probably the best thing that ever happened to him. And instead of taking this chance to make something good out of it, he's making a fool out of himself. Hard threatening rockstar and demanding money when they couldn't give a single fuck about what this guy wants because like roger clark said rockstar knows exactly what they can and what they cannot do so my advice to this guy would be just enjoy if you're going to be in the game bro and maybe get some cloud out of all of this and i don't know become a tiktok personality or some shit Shout your goddamn nuggets And I'm gonna give it to them. Tell you, man, they like me mean now. All it takes is one bad day for the most sane man to lose his fing mind! So now that we have covered the Joker's origin story, it's time to move forward just as he did because this guy was smart enough to try and seize his opportunity. And believe me, you guys are not ready to watch what I'm about to show you. So Lawrence Sullivan was not happy with just calling out Rockstar for creating an NPC for GTA 6 based on his appearance. So he decided to keep pushing and now he was back guns blazing. So besides of asking for even more money now... GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, we gotta talk. Y'all playing with my intelligence. It been mad days. This is a final warning. I just came back from Miami. Just came back from California. Talked to both my Jewish lawyers. We send you a letter. We are waiting for a response. If we don't get a response by after my birthday, which is January 11, we're going to take legal actions. I want $5 million now. Five million dollars. I'm getting harassed everywhere I go. The airport, the streets. You that GTA joke. You that GTA joker. What's good, GTA? Go talk to Take Two, your daddy. Rockstar, GTA, go talk to Take Two, your daddy, and get my money. Well, it seems that he has been playing it smarter than last time, and now he's actually trying to capitalize on this whole GTA 6 situation. So he made a few GTA themed clips. But gamers, that was just the beginning because now he has released a full-fledged documentary. Yup, you heard me right, this dude shot a f***ing whole documentary about himself and since I am a nice person, most of the times at least, I would like to avoid that my viewers get eye cancer, so I watched the full documentary so you guys don't have to. Anyway, let's watch some of the highlights. Miami is the new Gato. It deserves a better class screen. And I'm gonna give it to them. <laughs> okay, wait. Right off the bat, I gotta say, why is this recording in such a potato quality? Did he record this with a fucking stone or what? Tell you, man, they like me now. All it takes is one bad day for the most sane man to lose his fucking mind. <laughs> The judge finds probable cause for the charges, disappointing his sister. I feel terrible. It's something that he, he, he should have known better. Cops say he was waving a handgun out in the hammocks. Sullivan often posts profanity-laced YouTube videos, threatening videos, all in character. <laughs> <laughs> and that phone couldn't handle so much hostility. I need all the sexy pretty girls, DM me your number right now. I'm out of jail, DM me your motherfucking number, baby girl.
people pretend they don't follow what I do, but at the end of the day, they follow every fucking move I make. Everything I post, every time I go live, they be watching my shit. He says that people can stop following what he does and that everyone watches him when he goes live. And yeah, as we can see here, he has a really big audience. I'm surprised. I think he's doing pretty well with the whole social media stuff, you know, and he he's, he's good at it. Here we get introduced to the first character, Alex. He is Joker's childhood friend, who, by the way, doesn't appear ever again during the whole documentary. And I just chill with the people there and I talk to them and shit. Hang out the tattoo shop. It's like a small little town. Then we get to know this dude who also doesn't appear ever again, but he left us with some of his wisdom. You gotta be different in this world. They already have a Lil Wayne. They already have, um, they already have an Eminem. So now you got the Joker. You feel what I'm saying? There's nobody that looks like him. So hey, that's a plus. Hey man, you gotta have people following you. Numbers don't lie. So if you think you're gonna step into anybody's office and you think you you just raw talent, you ain't got nobody following you, man. You might as well hang that shit up, man. You feel what I'm saying? And here, guys, we have the maker of the Joker. Face tattoo and yeah, something like this is it's very life changing for him and. In a good way, it's, it's opened good doors for him as well, his music career. And... Why is he just staring like that? This shit is creeping me out, dude. You know, a lot of people want to take pictures with him, which, you know, for him it feels good, you know? Cool beans, thanks. For all of you who don't know me included, the Florida Joker is not just a pretty face. Oh no, he's also an artist. He makes music and here is where his producer who created this monster comes into play. I met the Joker um, in downtown Miami where I used to live. We actually met on Instagram first. I spoke to him. Um, he only had 4,000 followers. Don't get it twisted that he has 100. When I met him, he had 4,000 followers and I just saw something in him. People like bad things in reality. Like people, like if you give them something good, they probably ignore it. But if you give them something bad and to see, they'll go crazy. They'll, they'll stick to it, you know? I just study and analyze people and what they want, you know? So I give them what they want. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> <laughs> to make DNA, you need four things. Carbon, hydrogen, uh, oxygen, and uh, a, a neuron. You need four of these. Lucifer is number five. Once you put phosphorus, which is called Lucifer, with the, these four, a thing is animated and moves. That's the composition of a man. How to make a man. You. I have forgot some shit because apparently you can communicate without using your motherfucking voice. In dreams, the only thing that move their mouth are demons. Why? Because a demon is a low level vibr vibration. So he can't use telepathy, but only the blessed it can use telepathy. I have no idea what the f was going on there, but it seemed quite deep. So I left it on the video. What's up with that? How you doing, bro? Doing good, man. I'm love. What, what you go by? Joker 305. Joker 305. So when, when you started the whole Joker thing? I went through a dark time in my life, so it was like reborn, rebirth type shit. I didn't do it for the cloud, I didn't do it to get famous, I did it to make myself feel better. So we gonna have to hear something, we gonna have to, is it something we can look up? What, like if you, for the people that's watching that, like for, for instance me, I haven't heard none of your music or nothing like that. When people follow you, they click the follow button for a reason. They click it because they see something that attract them or they can relate to it. What would you suggest as something to go look up to hear you for the first time? My man has less energy than me doing these videos, dude. In my J's. In my J's? Yeah. We gonna get that black. You can pull that up, yeah, right? You can show them how to pull that up. Go ahead. We ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 let me get in that okay. camera, right? <laughs> Bro, I am legit surprised how popular this clown is. I'm starting to believe that he's actually no joke. Yeah, you know, shout out, man. Shout out, man. Shout out, man. Hey, gentlemen. The Joker here. Yeah, respect the Joker. Joker, man, it's the real fucking Joker. Real fucking Joker. Out of here, kid. Yeah, I got butt on you. Yeah, I got butt on you. Oh, let me get one. Let me get one. Everybody cloud chasing. That's the business we're in right now. Everybody fucking cloud chasing. It's just if you could chase the cloud and actually collect the cloud, it's a difference. These niggas ain't your niggas. That's just how I'm feeling. They say they rocking with you, but they plotting and concealing. I'm just trying to touch a million. I'm just trying to feed my children. I'm just trying to fuck the baddest mother. In the and gamers, since Batman has his Robin, Joker also needs a sidekick, a musical sidekick that is, and his name is Kid Brazil. I've known Joker since he's had 5,000 followers, and I saw him grow from 5,000 followers to 110,000 followers in a matter of three days. It's a family thing. If you're a Joker gang, you don't take shit from nobody. Fame is a blessing and a curse in the same time. You could get real love from it, or you could just get fake love from it. You know, people just want to be around you because you're famous and shit, and they want to use you to build their platform up and shit like that. That's why it's a blessing and a cursing. Yo, I think he was referring to Kid Brazil there. What a backstabbing bitch, man. And here comes the love and betrayal arc. Let me introduce you to Joker's lover, Tiny Montana. Yeah, she's really getting Joker gang. Um, I got the Joker gang tattoo. Um when we first met, pretty much, when we were hanging out, and uh, I don't really fuck with him anymore, but it was kind of an agreement that we had, like, if I got the tattoo, he would get my name also, and then he did. She got Joker Gang just like this. No, wait. Just like that, but bigger. When we first started hanging out, like, he was a really cool dude. Like, he was very caring person, you know, a good friend. <laughs> He called me one day and was like, I want to make a world star video with you. And um, it was like with pizza eating off my ass. So the gang, gang. And then we hooked up one time. And then after that, it was just like stalker. Tiny, that bitch is a motherfucking ass hoe, bro. Bitches, use me for my cloud for the photo shoot. Trying to get exposure off my motherfucking name. You ain't nothing but a pole dancing. All you guys know that this dude Joker is like posting mad shit about me on his Instagram. I honestly feel bad for the dude. He's got issues. He's pissed off because I don't like him. And I didn't want anything more than a one night stand with him because the shit wasn't even that great. You know what I mean? Bro, no shot she did him dirty like that on his own documentary, man. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Jesus, man, the reason this dude is exceptional. Yes, learn from the Joker, you losers. There's a lot of people that want me to kill myself. Like, I get hate mail every fucking day. Kill yourself. Your mouth should have swallowed your ass. You're a dumbass motherfucker. You're just a piece of shit. I get that shit every day. Joker, no one fucking likes you. No one's ever going to fuck with you. Not even do any fucking shit with you, okay? Stop being such a fucking bum ass piece of shit. All right, all right. This child better chill out. He shouldn't be disrespecting the Joker like that. Where are his freaking parents anyway? I mean, it's not. There's nothing serious about it. The music is, is horrible. I mean, the Joker probably makes the worst music you've ever heard. Next, they introduce us to Joker's natural enemy, and it is none other than the Batman himself. Yes, I am not fucking with you. It is for real, the Batman. Look. You know why I wear masks? I'm a real fucking gangster, bro. Pull up, bitch. You ain't no pull up shit. I'm gonna drop your ass again. I'm gonna punch you through the window the next time. Yo, look at this fool, yo. Look at this fool. This oh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. I'm Goose Wayne commonly known on the internet as Goose Wayne Batman, and I protect Gotham. I'm not gonna show you guys where all the guns are at or what kind of guns I have. 1911, loaded. I've been keeping a gun next to the toilet 
for since I've had this house. Um, I don't know why that was relevant to the documentary, but alrighty. Like supposedly my manager said um, Universal Music Group was gonna invest like 50 to 100K in me. <laughs> but they backed out on the end because the person I am. So this chapter gets really dark really fast. He was going through some depression or something like that for losing followers and stuff. And apparently he tried to end his Minecraft game. I ain't the joker no more. I'm gonna be burning my fucking Joker suit, all my fucking Joker shirts, everything that has to do with the fucking Joker. I'm not the Joker no more. I'm done with Instagram after this live video. That's it. I'm fucking done. And I'm not fucking playing. Come on, did you really think that that was the end of the Joker? Of course not. It's your boy, Joker Gang Gang. They try to violate me on my probation, but I'm out. I'm free. Yo. I'm free. And not only that, but also he came back stronger and cringier than ever. Hey, Cartel. What's up, bro? Hey, he said he's ready to try a uh, verse. <laughs> Looking at my life, I know they're watching me. Heavy medication, smoking broccoli. Yeah, but I'm not able to. So I'm having trouble pronouncing the heavy, heavy medication. I know how to get that shit right, bro. You like this? Looking at my life and know they watching me. Heavy medication, smoking broccoli. Look at my life and know they watching me. Heavy. Uh, I feel nervous, everybody, I know everybody yeah, watching me. Say, to be honest with you, that broccoli line is actually hard. So props to the Joker for nailing it. Well, not really. Look at my life and know they watching me. Heavy medication, smoking broccoli. Better? Yeah. That's better? Yes, sir. Remember, when it, that part comes like Joker Gang, you'd be like, Joker Gang, they can't feel my pain. Yeah, I'm ready. Put it to his brain. No men like cocaine. Wanna hear that? I said it right or no? Yeah, you did. It's gonna sound how it's gonna sound. <laughs> that shit was so funny, man. So more or less, those were the highlights of the Florida Joker documentary. And to be honest, when this came out, I thought to myself, well, at least this guy is doing something with his opportunity instead of just trying to get money from Rockstar. But I was wrong because this guy would not even go one week without embarrassing himself again. I want to be cared for, I want to swoon with someone, I want to watch movies, eat popcorn with her, go to the movie theater, like... <laughs> So, big. so yeah, like I said, it wouldn't be long for this guy to keep making a fool out of himself and he decided that it was time to keep asking Rockstar to give him what in his opinion was his hard earned money. So at this point, I have been keeping an eye on this guy and he hasn't been as active as one would expect. I guess he must have been in serious conversation with his Jewish legal team. Talk to both my Jewish lawyers. To work on the best strategy to get that GTA money. Either that or he has been too busy with his girlfriend. Because yeah guys, apparently the Florida Joker found a partner. And they have been together for 5 years dude. So if you ever feel like there's no one out there for you, remember that this dude with this face was able to hold the relationship for over 5 years. You have no excuse now dude. What's good? By the way, the comments on this post are so fucking mean, dude. <laughs> like this guy saying, all the men in the world and she went for you. That's wild. Or this other one saying, I think the crack is getting to your head, man. Or this other guy that went full villain monologue mode and said, if you were a real iteration of the Joker, you wouldn't give a shit about getting money from Rockstar. So shut the fuck up about it. You sound like one of those slurrers crying about getting rights. No one is on your side unless they are as broke as you. Being the victim of the system and looking for a handout. You should take pride that the character vaguely looks like you after all it's not about the money it's about sending a message right dude that guy really felt insulted by joker wanting that gta money but the best one in my opinion is i can't wait to run you over in the game <laughs> holy shit dude then as i was talking this dude again i came across with this remember how in his documentary he was throwing some hands at a training bag well it turns out that this dude actually participated in some amateur boxing matches well more like a bum fight at least that's what i would call it <laughs> but this dude with those smooth arms actually knocked someone out
just look at the pristine technique these two fellas have put on display for us, dude. Amazing. But yeah, anyway, coming back to the present, Lawrence here has been talking about GTA 6 again. <laughs> it cracks me up that he keeps coming out of the bushes for whatever reason. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. Yeah, two things to mention here. First, note how he has merged now with his famous phrase, GTA, we gotta talk. And second, he says that this is the reminder of the final warning. <laughs> like what? This guy has been giving Rockstar the final warning for months now. This is a reminder to the final warning. I keep getting harassed wherever I go. The more I can't eat, I can't eat, even eat a goddamn pizza while someone asking, can I have a picture of Mr. GTA Joker? No, you can't have a picture, I'm eating. Man, looks like the fame is getting to his head now. Imagine the nine taking a picture with the two or three people that must ask him for a photo. <laughs> what the hell, what a clown, dude. Anyways, for a whole month, for a whole month, I've been giving you a free publicity. Free policy. I want my money. So yeah, gamers, it looks like shit is escalating quickly. Remember back then when he was only asking for one million? GTA, we, we gotta talk, GTA. We gotta talk. Or not, you gotta give me like a mil or two. So what's up? But since his final warnings keep getting ignored by Rockstar, he upped the price to 10 mil now. My birthday is January 11th. If you do not contact me three days after my birthday, I want 10 million dollars. 10 million dollars for my suffering pain definition of a character stop playing with me when did gta ever make the news never what the gta never made it to the news you say hmm let's see about that never has there been an opening like this in the entertainment industry this week grand theft auto 5 pulled in 1 billion dollars in sales in three days it's a video game that is shattering sales records that is to say the least you know, Michelle Rowland, the game made almost $1 billion in sales. I've been talking about it or lower. Uh, this is after the trailer for the company's new GTA. What made Grand Theft Auto 3 the first major breakout hit in the series so memorable wasn't the fact that you could go around clubbing people with baseball bats or shooting them in the back of the head with guns, but the fact that it was an open, 3D, living, breathing world where you could do whatever you wanted at any time, find your own way to have fun, and that the characters were so deep and so interesting. When did GTA ever make the news? Never. And you're not gonna lock me up, GTA. You ain't gonna put me in no psych war. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. I'm gonna break that kid out the psych ward right now. Show you the real joke. I'll break that kid out the psych ward now. Give him a laptop up and we're gonna hack your system again. Keep playing. So yeah, that last bit was referring to that kid that got sentenced to life in a psych ward for hacking and leaking Rockstar a few weeks ago from when this happened. Imagine if he would go and try to do that. That would actually be a true Joker move. Show you the real joke. Did you ever wonder how this guy would look without his tattoos? Well, you will regret ever thinking that. That was not funny. Funny, right? Y'all say I look like PB Urban. I removed my face tats because I haven't got an old pussy since I got these face tats, so I had to remove them. So, can you help me find a girlfriend? I don't care if she fat, skinny, what nationality, what race. I just, I just want to be loved again. I just want a girlfriend. I need some pussy in my life, you know. I like long walks on the beach. I like going to the movies. I like riding bicycle, rollerblading. Uh, I'm a fun guy, I like to do a lot of things, and since I got these face tires, I haven't got no pussy, like, I just want to know what pussy feels like again, I want to be loved, I want to be hugged, I want to be cared for, I want to swoon with someone, I want to watch movies, eat popcorn with her, go to the movie theater, like, <laughs> you're so mean, so, so please tag a girl that's willing to date me now that I got all my face tires removed. <laughs> Yeah, that was just nightmare fuel, dude. Then there's this, wherever the f this is. Yeah, it looks like the entire Joker gang having a public schizo episode. Imagine you are walking around and you come across these clowns yelling and giggling like if they've just escaped out of some mental facility. Jesus, dude. And finally, the last update on our main character here was posted a few days ago. And surprisingly, he has changed his mind. Apparently, he realized that he ain't getting shit from Rockstar. So now he's pulling back on the lawsuit strategy and wants to actually boost the character in GTA 6. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. Take two, we gotta talk. I'm really not trying to sue y'all, so I'm gonna give y'all extra month. Hit me up, let me voice the character. 
Let me voice the character. Give me more storyline in the game and give me a few mil. Oh, sorry, my bad. I guess he's still asking for a few mil. By the way, this guy is asking for that amount of money when in reality, not even someone that would voice a main character would earn close to that amount. This guy is just delusional. Give me a royalty to the offer. Let's make, let's make history happen, man. Y'all see what I did for the game. We made news. We made the blogs. Everybody's covering me. Everybody love me, man. Everybody know me at the GTA 6 Joker, the Florida Joker. Find somebody else in Florida, let alone in Florida, the whole state of Florida, Miami, that that character is betrayed off of. Stop playing with me, GTA 6. Where's my money? Call me. Let's make this deal happen. I ain't trying to do all this low lawsuit, lawyers, all this and that, but if I got to, I will. Y'all got a month to hit me up. Let me voice the character. Throw me some bread. Let's work. GTA, we gotta talk. Take two, where my money at? Let's go. Yeah, take two. You heard the guy. Where's his damn money at, huh? He's giving you free publicity, dude. Free publicity. Free publicity. I want my money. After all that, I actually wonder if that character will even play a part on the game's story. Or if it is just an easter egg for the trailer and we will never see him again. That would be f***ing hilarious, dude. Been two weeks sober. I think you're gonna play with my intelligence. So uh, just like that anime you watch when you should be working or studying, sometimes what is dead is not really dead. Sometimes, just like those characters you thought died on the third season, come back to life out of nowhere two seasons later. This is exactly what happened with the character we're going to be talking about today. If you have been around my channel, you definitely know this guy, because I have made a few videos on him already. I am talking of course about Lawrence Sullivan, better known as the Florida Joker. For those who don't know who this guy is, he got viral around 2018 for having these tattoos all over his face that kind of made him look like the Joker from Batman. If I was waving a gun, then yeah, I'll admit it, but I wasn't waving a gun. Did I have a gun in my pocket when I was walking my dog at the time? Yes, because I want to be safe. But after that, he started to lose relevancy and went unnoticed for a long time. That is until the trailer for GTA 6 got released and this pulled him out of the shadow realm. And this is basically because he accused Rockstar of stealing his likeness to create a character for that game. It's a Boy Joker Gang 305, Raw Sequel Live, Floyd Joker, Mammy Joker. You might have seen that character on GTA 6. Just dropped the trailer today. You know they got that character with the face tattoos. You know who they got that expired by? By me. Just look me up. Florida Joker, Mammy Joker. You know what I'm talking about. GTA. We gotta talk. Then he wanted Rockstar to compensate him with a large amount of money. That's me. GTA. We. We gotta talk, GTA. We gotta talk. Or not, you gotta give me like a mil or two. After that, he progressively raised the amount of money he wanted from the video game company. For, for that, I want an extra million dollars. I want five million dollars now. Five million dollars. I want ten million dollars. Ten million dollars for my suffering pain. Y'all playing with my intelligence. And during this whole situation with Rockstar Games and GTA 6, he made a smart move and tried to capitalize on his newfound fame. So he released a documentary that Alleged Films was making on him. It's your boy Joker Gang 305 Ross Chick Live. I need everybody click the bio on the top and follow my Instagram. My documentary is dropping on live right now. If you don't want to miss it, tap in right now. This crap is like 40 minutes long, so if you don't want to watch the whole thing, I made a video about it with the highlights. Anyway, moving on. After realizing that he wasn't getting shit from Rockstar, he decided it was time to change strategies. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. Take two, we gotta talk. I'm really not trying to sue y'all, so I'm gonna give y'all extra month. Hit me up, let me voice the character. Let me voice the character. Give me more storyline in the game. Let's make history happen, man. Everybody love me, man. Call me. Let's make this deal happen. I ain't trying to do all this low lawsuit lawyers, all this and that. But if I got to, I will. Y'all got a month to hit me up. Let me voice the character. Throw me some bread. Let's work. GTA, we gotta talk. Take two, where my money at? Let's go. Of course, he got ignored once again by Rockstar, so his last resort was to try to come to friendly terms and he decided he wasn't suing Rockstar no more. GTA, GTA, Rockstar, take two. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. I'm not suing y'all no more. I'm not suing y'all. Let's do what's right. Show me like 50,000, 100,000. Let me voice the character. Let me go to the meet and greets. Let me go when the game's released, sign, take pictures with fans. Come on, man. GTA, we gotta talk. 
because I ain't suing you. So that was the last update we had on him and frankly I thought that he was going to chill out and silently walk back to the shadow realm where he belongs. But gamers, I was wrong. The GTA 6 Florida Joker is back and he finally lost his damn mind. Yo, try something, try something, we gotta talk. <laughs> Did you see how he almost got choked by that tree? Poor thing must be tired of this clown walking over it all the time. We gotta talk, try something, we gotta talk. You've been ignoring me since December 6th. Where my money at? I seen the article you crying about, oh yeah, the, the, the trailer got leaked, but it didn't really do that much damage to us because I was holding your weight, Trust something. It's also funny that he keeps calling Strauss Selnik, Strauss Selnik. Like, what the fuck? Trust something, I supposed to be compensated. Where my money at? I'm getting harassed everywhere I go. I had to remove my face tats. Yeah, we gonna sue you, GTA. Try something, we gonna sue you. We gonna give you 72 hours to give me what I deserve. Try something, think I'm playing? I disguise my face, we gonna break out the guy from the sideboard. Yeah, we gonna break him out. They don't even know it's me, look at me. <laughs> Real life joker. Try something, we coming for you, man. We coming for you and everybody that's involved in this. Y'all think you gonna ignore me? Not give me my money, try something, try something. We gotta talk, we gotta talk. We gotta talk before I go to the headquarters in New York. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with Charles Summit. And also, what's up with the weather in Florida, man? I thought he was going to start flying away at the end of the video. <laughs> Real life joker. Try something. We coming for you, man. We coming for you and everybody that's involved in this. And once again, the comments on his videos are just cold, dude. He looks like a burn big thief. <laughs> Bro looks like Mark Zuckerberg with purple hair. <laughs> and to be honest, the similarities cannot be denied. Damn, he looks like a lost sister of white chicks. <laughs> and yeah, he does look like that too, man. Nah, yo, hold my poodle. Hold my poodle. But guys, that's not all. Once again, Rockstar didn't acknowledge the struggles of the real life Royal Joker, and this pissed him off so much that he finally lost his marbles. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, we gotta talk. Strauss Selnick. We gotta talk. GTA, we gotta talk. Strauss Selnick, we gotta talk. I seen that little article you wrote. Out of reasons he keeps mentioning this article, but in no part of there is any mentions to this dude, so I don't know what the hell is he yapping about. When they release the trailer, the documentary talking about it didn't really hurt us, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it didn't hurt you because I hold the weight. Everybody want to play the game because of me. Strauss Selnick. At least this time he got Strauss Selnick's name right. <laughs> GTA, we gotta talk. Been two weeks sober. I think you're gonna play with my intelligence. I know what I have here. Everybody wanna play GTA because of me. That's me in the game. I use my likeness. I want $20 million. Now. I ain't playing no games. Don't make me go to the headquarters in New York in the next two, three weeks. Strauss, sell Nick. What's up? Where's my money at? I wanna be compensated. Stop playing with me. GTA, we gotta talk. We got a big problem. We got a big problem. Yep, you heard right guys, this bum is asking for 20 million dollars now. <laughs> At this point I gotta believe that he's just doing this to stay relevant because ain't no way in hell he really believes that first, Rockstar would give him any amount of money and second, even if in some universe they would, they would definitely not give him 20 mil. <laughs> At the very best he could get a free copy of the game or some shit. <laughs> this guy is delusional man. And this is the last update we have on this situation, at least for now. I wouldn't be surprised if next week he uploads another TikTok asking for 50 mil and then another one asking for a hundred mil. Editors note, a few days back someone commented on my last video about the Florida Joker and they said that next he will try to sue the new movie The Crow because the main character kinda looks like him. And guess what gamers, <laughs> this person was right. As I was editing this video I checked his TikTok once again and she uploaded this. It was your boy the Florida Joker GTA 6 GTA we don't gotta talk. Crow, the movie Crow, we gotta talk. I'm getting DMs at the DMs talking about y'all stole my likeness for your upcoming movie. I want to be compensated. I'm tired of y'all people taking my likeness for y'all movies and stuff, bro. What's going on here, man? What's going on here? Crow, 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 movie, the Crow, we got to talk. We got to talk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You tell me that that's not me? You're telling me that's not me? I will wait. I will wait. Crow, the movie, the crow, the company, the crow, whoever's making the movie, the crow, we got to talk. We got to talk. You took my likeness again. Yo, yo. 
We building the case against the crow, bro. We, you, yo, crow, crow, we gotta talk, crow. This guy is unbelievable, man. But I gotta admit, his dumbass makes me laugh. <laughs> Y'all playing with my intelligence. The day has finally come. The Florida Joker is back for one last song. So it's been a while since my last video update on this dude and not much has happened during this time. So this being the last video on Florida Joker's saga, I will give a brief recap. So this guy became famous a few years ago because after he got arrested, his mugshot got leaked and caught the attention of the media for having his face all tattooed. On top of that, these tattoos were all Joker themed, which made him win more notoriety. So so he went by her for a while but it didn't last that long so after working in the shadow realm for a long time he saw the light at the end of the tunnel and that light was gta 6. so when the trailer for grand theft auto 6 dropped there was a character that apparently was inspired on this dude and he was quick to remark that drugster stole his likeness florida joke ain't having that y'all took my likeness Y'all took my life, look. So yeah, after threatening Rockstar with lawsuits and asking to get paid up to $10 million, he finally realized that he wasn't getting shit from Rockstar Games, and at the end, he decided to lower the price in order to dub the character in GTA 6. Let me voice the character, give me more storyline in the game, and give me a few mil, give me a royalty to deal off of it, let's make... Let's make history happen, man. So yeah, like I said, he went kinda silent after that. Also, the fact that he is focusing more on his relationship apparently has him less interest in cloud chasing these days. Here we can see how he is dealing nowadays with all the girls throwing themselves at him. How's uh, how the ladies treating you these days? I got a girlfriend, so I really don't pay attention to the ladies. I mean, they're throwing themselves again really? at me on TikTok, on IG. All the old ones that fucked are trying to re, you know? Rekindle the flame? Yeah. I mean, sure, how can you not fall for this guy? He is the dream of every woman, I bet. Anyway, another reason why I think this is the end of the infamous GTA 6 Florida Joker saga is because recently he got called out by another dude that made dressing up as the Joker his whole personality. Guess who's in Florida, huh? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard that there was some wannabe pretending to be me, hmm? I don't like that. Not one bit. And why is he suing your favorite video game, hmm? Can't get the cloud on your own. Chasing fame. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. Actually, no, no, I don't get it. What are you doing, hmm? What are you doing? It's not what we're about. You'll never be the clown. You'll always just be a clown. <laughs> the world has its joker, huh? And Florida is mine. <laughs> we don't need you. Bye. Well, to be honest, this dude really nailed that hit Ledger's voice, but still is kinda cringe that these grown ass dudes are basing their entire personality on some comic book character, despite of how iconic Joker may be. I checked both of his pages on TikTok and Instagram, and apparently he just plain ignored this dude, which only reinforces my theory that he is going back under the radar, or at least that he is not interested in starting any shit again. Because way back then, let's remember that he had a beef with Goose Wayne, and then he sucker punched him to his f***ing window. <laughs> you know why I wear masks? Because I'm a real f***ing gangster, bro. Pull up, bitch. You ain't gonna pull up shit because I'm gonna drop your ass again. I'm gonna punch you through the window the next time. Yo, look at this fool, yo. Look at this fool. <laughs> He also followed the advice of Roger Clark and pretty much everyone that's been telling him he should capitalize on this opportunity and now he started to stream in that healthy that is kick host of the likes of Jack Doherty, Neon and Vitaly. <laughs> Oh, he's, 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 he's taunting us. He's taunting us. Right, right, right there. Oh! Oh! 
Stop playing with me! Sorry. <laughs> so he spends most of his time doing Instagram lives or streaming but recently he went on a podcast to talk about himself a little bit and this was really hard to watch. The podcast host must have had a hell of a time interviewing this guy because he gave the most monotone and lifeless answers most of the interview but by the end of it he addressed the current state of his lawsuit against Rockstar. Are you really gonna sue uh, Rockstar Games? I mean... Have you talked to a lawyer? I, I, I'm not an idiot. I probably won't win it, but... <laughs> that was a good headline. I would like to work with them. I would like to see them let me voice the character. Um, I am the most spoken character of the, of the game, of the trailer. All the blogs say that. I gave them the most free marketing in history of GTA for the last two weeks. I deserve it. I feel like I deserve some type of deal with them. Yeah. Some type of check. Um, I feel like they, they should talk to me and work some type of deal with me or not. I will be taking some type of legal action if I ever have Submitted to. Submitted an email. Well, actually, the one who started this whole thing by posting that video on TikTok was him. So that free publicity that he mentions was done by him willingly. And to be honest, yeah, I mean, the character is based on him probably, but it's not like it is a one-to-one -one design. Bro just wanted to go viral again and, well, it kind of worked for a while. So his last update about this topic topic was a few days ago and this video starts with one of his now trademark moves coming out of the fucking bushes GTA GTA Rockstar take two we gotta talk we gotta talk I'm not suing y'all no more I'm not so yeah, there we have confirmation. He gave up on that lawsuit thing and he sounds really bummed out about it. <laughs> like he finally realized that he wasn't getting any of that GTA money. But y'all still out your goddamn nuggets. It's been two whole months, two months, two months. Y'all still haven't reached out to me. Still haven't DM me. Let's let's do what's right. Show me like fifty thousand. $100, Bro, <laughs> this dude just doesn't give up. He's still asking for money. He should be thankful if they even let the character in the game after how much he broke everyone's balls with it. Let me voice the character. Let me go to the meet and greets. Let me go when the game's released, sign, take pictures with fans. Come on, man. We made worldwide news. Every blog, every news outlet covered me on the game. And at this point, I think I must be the only idiot who is still covering this guy and his bullshit. They already know who I am. Trust me. So GTA, Rockstar, we gotta talk. I'm not suing ya. Take two, I'm not suing ya. Let's just do what's right. Let me voice the character. Let me promote the game. Let me go to all the Comic Cons, meet and greets. Let's go, man. You know that's me. Florida Droga, Miami Droga. I'm making that game more relevant. People wanna play it. I'm the reason why that game is so hype right now. <laughs> no way he really said that I'm the reason why that game is so hype This dude has some serious ego problems So Rockstar, Take 2, GTA, we gotta talk I ain't and the comment section on his TikTok has no chill, by the way. Why did he randomly walk through the branches? Yeah, we're all wondering that like three videos ago. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. Y'all playing with my intelligence. 10 years from now, he's still gonna be coming out of the bushes. GTA, Rockstar, we gotta talk. I'm not suing you all. <laughs> we went from lawyers and getting paid millions to 50, 100k. And let me sign pictures. The next step is I will do it for a kid cut. <laughs> I want 10 million dollars. 10 million dollars for my suffering pain. Bro said two months with four fingers, then three, then two. <laughs> it been two whole months. Two months. Two months. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, we gotta talk. Hey guys, here's the big Lebrowski coming in again with another video for you to watch while you're peeling potatoes. With your drill, then. So a few days back, I made a poll asking you guys if you wanted me to talk about one of the recurrent characters on this channel, the Florida Joker, that is. And since most of you answered yes, here we are. Not gonna lie, I am always glad making videos about this dude because it really makes me laugh while I'm editing with all the stupid crap he says. So it's been a long time since we last checked on Lawrence Sullivan, better known as the 
Florida Joker and at some point it seemed that he gave up on his quest to get some of that GTA money. I'm really not trying to sue y'all so I'm gonna give y'all an extra month. Hit me up, let me voice the character. GTA, GTA, Rockstar, take two. We gotta talk, we gotta talk. I'm not suing y'all no more, I'm not suing y'all. But y'all still out your goddamn nuggets. But sadly, that only lasted a few days because sometime after that, he went back to his money demanding ways and asked Rockstar for a few mil. Yo, try something, try something. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. Try something. We gotta talk. You've been ignoring me since December 6th. Where my money at? And after getting ignored constantly by Rockstar Games, because let's be honest, who is ever going to listen to this clown? <laughs> so he decided to try to get money somewhere else and he wanted to sue the movie The Crow. Yes, he wanted to sue a whole movie, not the studio that made it, but the whole movie itself. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy, the Florida Joker, GTA 6, GTA, we don't gotta talk. Crow, the movie Crow, we gotta talk. I'm getting DMs at the DMs talking about y'all stole my likeness for your upcoming movie. I want to be compensated. I'm tired of y'all people taking my likeness for y'all movies and stuff, bro. What's going on here, man? What's going on here? Crow, 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 movie, the crow. We got to talk. We got to talk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You tell me that that's not me? You're telling me that's not me. I will wait. I will wait. Crow. The movie, The Crow, the company, The Crow, whoever's making the movie, The Crow, we got to talk. We got to talk. You took my likeness again. Yo, yo. We building the case against The Crow, bro. You... Yo, Crow, Crow, we gotta talk, Crow. Man, this guy is so out of his mind, I swear. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we left it the last time we talked about him. And funny enough, the very next day, he uploaded another video demanding GTA to pay him his money. And you can see that he was completely baked on this video. Probably he was like smoking and stuff and thought, yeah, I'm gonna make another video. That sounds like a good idea. And then he decided to post this. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. Rockstar Games, where is my money y'all stop playing with me y'all know you stole my likeness you know you got that inspiration from that character for me so rockstar take two where is my <laughs> bro was so high he didn't even finish his sentence then after the effects of weed wore off he got really aggressive and addressed all the haters in a not so polite way gta gta we still gotta talk we gotta talk rockstar games take two GTA, we gotta talk. I'm waiting. I'm been waiting like four, five months. Where the f is my money? Y'all think I'm playing, bro? Y'all think I'm playing? I am the main reason why that game is so hype. So GTA, Rockstar Games, Take Two. Where the f is my money? And all you haters, suck my motherfucking Irish Peruvian. Talking about GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, we gotta talk. Shut the. F I slap all you fucking haters up, man. How about one of you haters in the room and knock you the fuck out? But GTA, Rockstar Games, we gotta talk. Where the fuck is my money? Wanna be compensated? Y'all playing with my talents, y'all playing with my money. You know, like four, five, six months. Where the Money at. GTA Rockstar, we got yeah, not his proudest moment there. And to be honest, I can't believe that after all this time, this dude keeps trying to get anything from Rockstar and the game is not even out yet. <laughs> like, that character is probably not even going to be a part of the main story anyway. This dude is mental. Then, as I was looking through his Instagram, he posted a picture with some of the wildest mug shots from Florida and I couldn't believe my eyes when I realized that he is the most decent looking person out of all of them. I mean, look at this dude <laughs> what the heck happened to his neck this is some comic book freak stuff right here like they all look like they come straight out of arkham asylum <laughs> insane anyway moving on gta gta we gotta talk GTA, we got tough. Once again, the poor tree is just trying to defend itself from this guy walking on it every time. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. GTA, we got to talk. Take two, we got to talk. You know, like I wanted five mil. Still want my five mil. It's been five, six months. Still haven't got a response, you know. Also, what was he eating? Is that a waffle? Everybody DMing my cameo, yo. Joker, when is GTA 6 coming out? Yo, Joker, are you watching the character? Yo, Joker, when is Redemption 3 coming out? I don't know. I don't work for Boxstar. I don't work for Take-Two. GTA, we gotta talk. 
I wanted 20 million. I settled for five. It's been five, six months. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Everybody want me to voice the character. I mean, everybody want me to be part of the game. So, take two, GTA, Rockstar Games. Let's get it. Let's work. Let's get the people what they want. Be the face of the game, so I am the face of the game. Uh, no, let me correct you on that. The face of the game are the action main characters, so I don't know what are you going on about, buddy. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. I know y'all heard me, I know y'all see me. Where my money at? GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. T shirts coming soon. Rockstar, take two. Y'all stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with my intelligence. Where's my money? Oh, you stole my likeness. You stole everything about me. You know that's me in that game, man. Stop playing. Still want my five million dollars. Five million. Yeah. This dude sounds more intoxicated every time he speaks. <laughs> he really needs to stop taking whatever he's taking. And the comments bashing on him are so funny. Like this guy saying that he's going to get paid in XP. <laughs> or this other one saying that he's going to get 5 million GTA dollars. And this one saying that he needs his crack money. <laughs> Damn dude, I am dying here. After that, once again, he deviates from all the GTA talk and he started complaining about the new Joker movie saying that it's trash. DC, Joker 2, we gotta talk. What is this Ronald McDonald's BS you got going on? What What is this? This is what you're calling the Joker? Man, y'all need to stop playing, bro. Y'all need to get me in the next Suicide Squad movie. Y'all need to get me in the next Joker movie. Everybody knows I'm the real life Joker, bro. Come on now, you see this? This is garbage. Fake ass Harley Quinn. They should have got the original Harley Quinn instead of Lady Gaga, Lady Fuga. Bro, come on, what is this nonsense, bro? It look like a Ronald McDonald's commercial in the 80s, man. Y'all need, man, Joker 2, DC, y'all need to hit me up, man. I need to be in the next Joker movie, bro. Real life Joker in this, man. Stop playing with me, man. Real life Joker in here, man. Real life Joker. Real life Joker. Yet another brilliant take from the real life Joker. And this may be an unpopular opinion, but I kinda agree with him. The last trailer was trash. <laughs> it looked more like a musical than a freaking Joker movie. But we will see when it comes out. And besides, I am no movie critic, so whatever. Anyway, going back to our friend Lawrence, in the last couple of videos he uploaded, we can see him developing his acting skills. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, GTA, we got a big problem. It been five months, still no answer, still no response. I know you had to see me by now. I know you had to hear me by now. What's up? I ain't trying to sue y'all. I know you heard this plenty of times. I'm really not trying to sue y'all. Don't give me $5 million. Let's do what's right. Let me voice the character, because there's no way I'm gonna let y'all slide while giving me some compensation, while letting me voice the character and make some money out of this. Y'all stole my likeness, you stole my livelihood, you stole everything, man. Y'all leaving me with nothing. I'm getting, yo, you got GTA Joker, that's fucked up what GTA did to you, man. They should pay you, you should be in the new game. GTA, we gotta talk. This dude should actually be thankful they put him on that trailer. Him saying that they ruined his livelihood is ridiculous. If anything, they made him relevant again. And gamers, the last clip I've got on him is freaking the best because he took his trademark move of coming out of the bushes and he pushed it to the extreme. Everybody's going crazy, GTA, we need to talk, everybody wants me to voice the game, everybody wants me to play the game, everybody wants to be a main character in the game. GTA, GTA, Rockstar Games, we gotta talk. My guy coming out of the jungle like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> you can even hear the person filming this laughing. And also the police sirens going off in the background had me dying. <laughs> I swear, if this character is an actual NPC in the game, they need to make him come out of the bushes, just like this clown did. What's good? 
Anyway, so a whole year has passed since I started covering this story and you may find this hard to believe, but the Florida Joker still doesn't give up and he keeps asking Rockstar for the money that he thinks he deserves. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk, man. Like, I feel like y'all trying to put a hit on me or something, man. Like, I'm gonna make it to see GTA 6, but I ain't gonna play my character. But till then, we gotta talk, GTA, we gotta talk, man. I want my $20 million. Y'all still haven't responded to me. You know you stole my likeness. You know you stole my look to make that stupid-ass character. Everybody knows it's me. People saying it's not me. People saying it is me, y'all. Y'all know what you did, man. Pay up, pay up, GT. We gotta talk. And I'm just gonna stay in my Where house every oh, goddamn that? day, man, till GTA 6 comes out. Cause they ain't gonna pop me. They ain't gonna take me out before the goddamn video game come out. You got me, got me messed up, man. You got me messed up, GT. We gotta talk. You can tell that he is really pissed because deep inside he knows he ain't getting shit from Rockstar. I mean, at this point, why keep trying, dude? How exactly does Rockstar create a character that barely looks like him? Has him messed up? Like, this guy had the chance of actually doing something out of this situation and instead he just decided to act this way, like the clown he is. Then, after that, the Florida Joker decided to make a cola with the rejected brother from the Island Boys and that shit had me dying, dude. <laughs> GTA, GTA, we need to talk, man. It's been like 18 months. I feel like it's been taking 30 years. Oh, what are you years. doing in my bush, bro? Get out of here. GTA, we got to talk, man. As you see, my bro, it's been seven months. My tree ain't stopped growing. We need to talk. Where my money at, man? I ain't playing, man. GTA, we got to talk, man. Say, man. GTA, call me, man. I mean, dude, there is so much going on here. The Joker coming out of the bushes like a predator. The outfit he's wearing. The hat. <laughs> and then, of course, the failed island boy giving it all. But his acting skills not cutting it. I gotta give it to this guy though, at least the dedication to this bit is impressive. Then he recorded this other video where he's saying out of words, but for my life I can't understand a single thing that he said, and this is coming from someone that has a terrible accent like me. Yo, I just wanna say public service announcement, same man what they do man, true OG, I'm the one that invented that bro, I'm the one that invented that man, <laughs> same man what they do man, I'm the one that invented that slang man, same man what they do man. Yeah, everybody go Bro, all I got from that is that he invented some slang or something. I swear, I listened to that clip like four times and I couldn't make up anything else of what he said. Anyway, for whatever reason, his comment section was filled with bots like this one saying, please contact me to receive your monthly gift. Hey dude, your video is so cool and the video content is also so awesome. Can our accounts become friends? I want to be your supporter and help you gain more popularity and I hope we can become friends. Looking forward to your attention and reply. Yeah, Joker is not being the bought by in allegations. Anyway, so the final update we got on the Florida Joker is that apparently he finally gave up with all that nonsense of trying to sue Rockstar and he's just trying to stay sober and be a proper member of society. What's up, TikTok family? It's your boy GTA 6 Joker, Florida Joker, the Miami Joker, St. Pete Joker. You already know what time it is. I want to give a shout out to everybody in this bitch. I love y'all. I've been gone from TikTok because Hurricane Milton, but now I'm back. Just wanna let everybody know I'm still sober, seven months sober from alcohol. So everybody that's battling some type of addiction, fight it. You could quit something if you really want to. Look at me, look how far I can. Just wanna let everybody know you matter and your love. So stay positive, do something productive today. Get someone a hand, get someone a hug, and show love. Your boy Joker Gang 305. We are not clout chasing on this side. We show love on this side, you know what I mean? I think that was an appropriate way to give closure to the longest running saga here on the channel. And to be honest, I am still curious to see if Rockstar will actually leave the character on the final cut of the game. Imagine this dude was making all of this fuss for so many months for Rockstar to completely scrap that character. That would be really sad, dude. I mean, like this guy said, I can't wait to run that character over in GTA 6. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. And if you didn't notice this, this was a special to commemorate my first year doing YouTube. So I want to take a moment to thank all of you for your support. As always, subscribe, like, and comment, and don't forget to check out the subreddit and our Discord server. I am the Big Lebrowski, take care, and I'm out. That thing gonna play with my intelligence?